Hey guys, today I'm going to walk you through how to fix the driver power state failure error on your Windows 11 system. It's a common issue that can cause your system to crash, but don't worry, I'll show you exactly what to do step by step. First, let's start by opening the services window. Go ahead and click on the search bar and type services. When you see services pop up in the search results, go ahead and click on it. This will open a new window where you can see a list of services running on your system. Scroll down a bit and look for performance logs and alerts. Once you find it, right-click on it and select properties. In the properties window, look for the startup type field and change it to automatic. After that, click on apply and then click start to start the service. Once it's started, click OK to close the window. Next, we need to boot your system into safe mode. To do this, press the Windows key and the R key together to open the Run dialog box. Type msconfig into the box and hit Enter. This will open the system configuration window. Now go to the Boot tab and under the Boot Options section, check the box that says Safe Boot. Click Apply and then OK. After that, press Alt plus F4 to close the window and choose to restart your system. Once your system restarts, it will boot into safe mode. Now that we're in safe mode, let's open Device Manager. Go ahead and type Device Manager into the search bar and open it. In the Device Manager window, expand the Network Adapters section by clicking the small arrow next to it. Look for your network adapter, right-click on it, and choose Uninstall Device. Confirm that you want to uninstall it, and once that's done, close the Device Manager window. After that, Press the Windows key and the R key together again to open Run. Type msconfig once more and hit Enter. This will open the system configuration window again. Go to the Boot tab, uncheck the Safe Boot option and click Apply and OK. Now restart your system once more and it should boot back into normal mode. Once you're back in normal mode, go ahead and open the search bar again and type Task Manager. Click to open it and in the Task Manager window, click on Run New Task. Then click on the Browse button. Navigate to this PC, open the C drive, and then open the Windows folder. Inside the Windows folder, open the System32 folder. Scroll down to find CMD ECE. Select it and click Open. You'll see a dialog box asking for administrative privileges. Check the box, click OK. This will open the command prompt with admin privileges. In the command prompt window, type the following command, sfc slash scan now, and press enter. This will start the system scan to look for any corrupted files that could be causing the error. The scan might take a while, so be patient and let it complete. Once the scan finishes, type exit to close the command prompt window. And that's it. You've completed all the steps. These should help fix the driver power state failure error on your Windows 11 system. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tech tips. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.